Today I want to talk a little bit about faith because I think that faith is just like muscle. It should be trained. You should have some type of practice around it, some type of routine around it so that you can progress and get better spiritually. And I think that's the natural progression for people that are interested in health and well-being. There's a physical component, there's a mental component, and there's also a spiritual component. And the spiritual component doesn't get talked a whole lot about because unless you are a super devout religious person, there's no real method of going about practicing a spiritual routine, a faith routine. And I wanted to talk a little bit, a little bit about why it's important to have in your daily routine. One of the important reasons to practice faith is, well, we're all human, we're not invincible, we don't have the answers to everything. So there is a certain component of you having to rely on something else to guide you, having that moral compass. And faith is what allows you to travel in the right direction and not stumble, take the wrong path towards ruin or towards negative situations, negative outcomes. And practicing faith will help you stay on the right path, the path to positivity, the path to positive outcomes, and the path to enlightenment at the end of the day. And I read a quote by Martin Luther King. It was just Martin Luther King Day, so this is very relevant. He was a very, very devout Christian. A lot of his speeches were referencing the Bible, Christianity, God. And one of the things he said, one of his popular quotes was, faith is taking the first step without seeing the whole staircase. And that is a perfect example of what faith is. Faith is acknowledging that you may not have all the answers, but you are going to trust a higher power to lead you in the right direction and know that the outcome on the other side of all those steps is going to be where you need to end up. And today I also have a quote from the book of James detailing how those steps might not always be the easiest steps. The steps may take you up, they may take you down, up again, down again, but ultimately they are taking you in the right direction. And today the quote from James is very, very relevant to the quote of Martin Luther King. Again, I'll, I'll say that quote. Martin Luther King said that faith is taking the first step without seeing the whole staircase. And in that staircase, there might be ups and downs, but it's up to you to trust that general direction, that path, because you know on the other side of that, the end of the staircase is where you need to be. And if we go into the book of James, he says, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, Consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. Let's dissect that a little bit. When you face trials of any kind, which, as human beings in today's world, we will always face trials. We will always face hardships, things that we have to overcome, negative experiences, we will for sure experience those. It's how you respond to those negative experiences, those trials that you're facing, that determine what your outcome is. James says you should consider it nothing but joy when you face these trials because the testing of your faith during these trials is what will produce endurance. And if we're talking about endurance, fitness-wise, we know endurance means you can last a long period of time doing a certain exercise, like 
jogging, running, biking, swimming, whatever it is, you're able to endure that exercise for a long period of time. If we go back to what the trials are causing you to do, it's almost like an exercise. The trial, the hardship is an exercise. It's difficult. Sometimes an exercise, you don't know if you're going to be able to rep out that weight that you're going for. You don't know if you're on a barbell back squat that you're going to be able to actually get back up after you squat down. But you know if you continue to push through that, endure it, that there is a positive outcome on the other side of it. It's you accomplishing that new one rep max. But you can never accomplish that new one rep max had you not gone through the trials, the hardship of getting all that weight on your back, loading your spine up, going deep down into that squat, feeling like, oh my gosh, I do not want to be under this bar right now. I don't want to have all this weight on my back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stand up. I think it might crush me. But you prevail. You continue to push through your legs to stand up with that weight. And at the end of it, you rack that barbell and you celebrate that you made it through that hardship. And James is saying that you need to find joy in hardships because on the other side of that hardship is an extreme reward. It's strength, it's growth, it's resilience. And that's what we need to focus on whenever we face these trials, is understand that it might be a bit rocky for a period of time, but know that once you get through that rocky portion, there will be joy on the other side. There will be relief, strength, growth, and a positive outcome. This last part of James, let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. When we practice this endurance through hardship, that is what brings maturity to us. That's what brings us wisdom. That saying, been there, done that. When you face a certain hardship, oh, been there, done that. It's less intimidating because you have survived it. You've overcome it before. And it seems like a small minor problem, whereas the first time you faced it, it seemed like the end of the world. That is what James is saying. Let endurance have its full effect because it will bring you maturity. And in the end, you will lack nothing because you will have accomplished all these trials and you will be a better person because of it, a stronger person overall. And the great thing about becoming a stronger person overall is that it helps you help others become a stronger person overall as well. The people in your life, your significant other, your friends, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, coworker, because you become a stronger person, you are able to be wise enough, mature enough to see the trials that others are facing and guide them through it. And that's why it's so important that you take on every single hardship that you're facing, take it on with joy. Know that you will become a stronger person on the other side, which will then help you lead others to become stronger people as well. And today, that's why I wanted to discuss with you all, always persevere past these hardships that you might be going through because it is like a muscle. You're training it. You're training your faith. You're training your faith to get better, to get better, to get stronger so that you can become a better person and help others become better people as well. That's all I got. Always train your faith.